Hi guys, I'm Ryan Houston and welcome to my Fly Tying channel. If your video is about to start shortly, please take this opportunity to hit the like button down below, leave some comments, tell your friends. Interaction, likes, subscriptions help my channel to grow and help me to keep producing content for yourselves. If you're new to my channel, check out the other videos that I've got. There are over 500 videos at this stage, so there should be something there for everybody. Again, video is about to start. Hit that like button down below. Hi guys, uh, so this is a trout fly, although it would, because of the size of it, it probably would also work for sea trout and salmon on a lock, and this is the big leggy bibio. So uh, this is a size 6 B175, and I'm going to use a black tie-in thread here. And the first thing I'm going to do is to tie in the legs. So I'm going to take some black knotted pheasant tail here. Take off say half a dozen or so and tie them in pointing forwards. And then bind that down along the body. So next we're going to tie in our rib which is a silver oval. And bind that down to the bend. And at the bend, we're going to start our three part body. So the bibio is black, red, black. So we're going to use a bit of black seal here or dubbing or whatever you've got. And then we'll move into a bright red. So how much you use is up to yourself. Um, some people like it quite prominent. And especially the other thing you have to consider when you're doing it is that you're going to put a black hackle etc over it so what you think is prominent suddenly gets covered up so you probably have to err a little bit more uh, on the red side than you think to get it to stand out and then we'll go back to the black dubbing seal whatever and put it on the front so you can see we still have quite a room here, so what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to put on a uh, palmered hackle, so a black cock hackle to palmer, and then in front of that we're going to put on one as the front head hackle, which is going to make the thing quite bushy and floaty. So we take our palmering hackle, put on a turn to begin with, because that I find helps to blend in the front hackle. Uh, because the front hackle would be coming and stopping here and if you've just gone straight into your palmer it sometimes leaves a little bit of a gap and breaks the hackle again. So our turn and then palmer this down the body in as many turns as suits you for your own taste. And then we take our silver rib up through that Trying not to tie down fibers if we can, snap it off, tie across it, and take it forward. Trim off the rib, and then we're just going to fold this hackle, or sorry, uh, legs back. And then sweep it back and tie over it tight up to the back of that other hackle. So then these will stick out either side. So to uh, finish the fly off, then we're going to use a black, a larger black cock hackle. Tie it in by its base, pointing forwards. And then it's a little bit webby to begin with, we'll just let it release itself there. And then wind this whole hack along until we get back to where the previous one was. And see I'm wrapping in between and then I'm going to wrap through my hackle there. And each turn then will bind some part of that hackle down so even a little bit of it gives it's never going to fall apart. 
come to the front you can create the head as small or as big as you want and finish it off trim Varnish the head, and that's the fly tied. So as you can see, it's quite a big, uh, bushy fly as it is. Uh, if you want, you can get in with a, a needle and uh, pick out the dubbing if you want it to be even more standout. Uh, and as you can see, it's a big attractor pattern. You pull that in a wave or gink it up and let it sit. Uh, it's not going to go unnoticed so hopefully you like what you see if you did give us a like subscribe tell your friends check out all the other videos on the channel and until next time tight lines and thanks for watching